Hey everyone, Eric on Paper here, and I'm Eric, and today we're going to go back to Spider-Man 4 and uh, talk about the Kingpin. The Kingpin in Spider-Man 4 is the thread that connects a lot of these characters. Black Cat has a vendetta against him, for example. Alistair Smythe works under him, as does Adrian Toomes. Uh, it's, a, of course, a very toxic work environment, as you can imagine. And Kingpin is a very unsympathetic character, um, driven mostly by a need for profit, money, etc. He uses any tactic he can to get what he wants, and though he is a background villain, as in uh, Spider-Man doesn't fight him per se in this movie, he definitely is against him. And uh, we do actually see Kingpin in an action scene, but I will not reveal with whom or anything like that. That's a spoiler alert. But I tried to incorporate a few classic moves from the comics that uh, was, were also incorporated in the Netflix Daredevil series. So uh, keep an eye out for that. I am really looking forward to uh, shooting those scenes. Also, uh, my character, Alistair Smythe, and Kingpin are going to be in a lot of scenes together. So I was kind of thinking that uh, this is sort of funny, that behind the camera I'm giving Kingpin the orders, but as soon as film uh, starts rolling, he's giving me the orders and I'm just having to pretend like I'm not in charge. But also if you ask me, Alistair Smythe is the main character. I thought I would change it up a bit instead of doing a lot of uh, my normal process of light pencil, heavy ink, and then uh, Copic or digital color, I would treat this as a bit more of a fine art piece and just use pencils. Uh, a lot of stipling and a lot of cross-hatching to get the effect I want. And uh, The good rule about cross-hatching is uh, the more lines you use, the heavier the shadow appears. And also try to use hatching along the contour of the surface, otherwise it uh, breaks up the pattern and looks unnatural. The Kingpin in our movie is played by an actor named Ed Adeka. I hope I'm saying his last name right. Uh, forgive me, Ed, if I'm not. And the first time I saw him was in the Spider-Man 4 announcement, and this was before I was the director of the movie, and the first thing I thought of was, if anyone was born to play the Kingpin, it's this guy. Now, I later on met him in person, and like most people who play villains, he's a really nice guy. Now, I do not envy Ed in playing the Kingpin at all, because he has some really big shoes to fill, as far as actors that have preceded him in the role. I think the first one was uh, played by John Reese davies in the Trial of the Big Bad Hulk TV movie. Then there was uh, Michael Clark Duncan in the Ben Affleck Daredevil movie. And finally, and mine and I think a lot of other people's favorite portrayal is the Vincent D'Onofrio in uh, the Daredevil Netflix series. That being said, though, I'm going to make Ed find his own identity as the Kingpin. I really want him to stand out and not be overly influenced by the other actors. So when people say, oh, I like the, uh, the Netflix uh, Kingpin or... I thought Michael Clark Duncan was an interesting choice, and other people will then say, yeah, but did you see Ed on Spider-Man 4? He did a great job, and really that's what I want for the cast, and the advantage of working with someone like him is that Kingpin has not appeared in the Spider-Man franchise, I, actually I think ever in live action form, so it will be a brand new take. And here's a portrait of the Kingpin that I hope he would like himself. If he didn't, I'm sure Wilson Fisk would have me drowned and swimming with the fishes. Well, Kingpin was certainly fun to draw, and I'm looking forward to doing Smythe next. Now, it's probably just going to be a self-portrait of me, but if you had any questions about uh, the character or me, let me know in the comments below, and I'll try to address them. Uh, coming up next, I'm going to do more Spider-Man 4 content and uh, try to change things up though to keep it from getting stale. I'm working on Optimus Prime right now as well as some other ideas. I was going to do some pulp heroes as well like the Shadow, the Phantom, and other tokusatsu heroes, uh, things like that. So please like and subscribe and I hope you keep telling your stories.